Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all well in this crazy world. And today, I'm not going to propose to you, but I am, because it looks like it's a, a little box there for a, a wedding ring, doesn't it? Having a look at the Skywatcher variable polarising filter. And as the title suggests, oh and this one by the way is available to purchase in the link in the description below. And this is the 1.25 inch, but you can also get them in a 2 inch variant. And so variable polarising filter, so unlike a standard moon or a, a single lens polarising filter, you can actually alter the VLT or the visual light transmission that to uh, reach the eyepiece. And what I, I'm going to do, just to demonstrate how, how to use this filter and what effect it has, I don't have the moon sitting on my lap, but I do have a spare light off my, off my bike. And so what I'm going to do first, I'm going to take, this is a standard Ostara Crystal View filter. And as you can see, it reduces the light transmission. And I, I know there are a number of people, I'm not saying everyone, that say a moon filter increases contrast. I, I don't say that, I just simply say that it reduces the light transmission, as you can see, for a more comfortable view. And this one, it really does the job. Uh, if, if you find that a moon filter does increase the contrast, um, with your findings, please let us know about it in the description. So just to compare, we're now going to go on to a single lens polarising filter and I found this one, this is the number 3 Ostara, it, it blocks a little bit more light than the moon filter and, and I find, so you know, it's probably a very good moon filter this uh, number 3 polarising and I, I don't know if you can tell, I think that the one on the left, the polarising, gives a more neutral colour, where the moon filter maybe gives, maybe gives a slightly blue tint. And then we're going to go on to a ND filter, or natural density filter. This is the SV Bonnie number 3. Now as you can see, that cuts out a lot of light. I'm guessing you use this with very, very large telescopes and uh, it looks like it's cutting out a lot of light there but do not by all means be tempted to look at the sun with this filter it's not a solar filter so then we shall come on to the sky watcher variable polarizing filter and there we are it's very similar let me just get this po first polarizing filter out again the single lens the double lens so yeah it does seem to cut out a little bit more light but what you can do with this, you can actually, it comes in two sections, top and a bottom, and you can move them independently. So as, as we look through, we turn it, again darker, darker, oh, gone, nearly gone. But again, don't be tempted to look at the sun with this filter, because you know, you will allow too much light through. So basically, you, you can vary it depending on if it's a really, if it's a really strong bright full moon and you're looking through a 20 inch uh, light bucket or it's maybe a thin crescent and you just want to reduce the light a little bit you can you can do that so it varies you know considering the price of uh, around about 30 pounds it is a very good value for money and versatile filter and that's so uh, that's the sky watch your polarizing but while I'm here we'll just have a, a quick look at a few other filters so here we have a number 12 yellow and don't think that colour filters are just for planets, you can use them for the moon. Yes you do get obviously a false colour but just like a moon filter it reduces the light for a more comfortable view. And then we move on to the 21 orange, that looks cool doesn't it? Very nice effect. And you see you still pick, you know, the, the detail there that you, with any of these that, that's that's lost in the glare, you're now picking them out with these. So you can use these on the moon just as easily. And then finally, if I can find it, my favourite Mars filter. Why I, I like using this one on Mars? Because I, I find that it helps the polar ice cups stand out more from the, from the 
disc of Mars itself. But it's the same with any colour filter. You ask 20 people which is their favourite colour filter on Mars, you might get 20 different answers. But this is my favourite one. The number 12 yellow that I showed you was my favourite on Jupiter because it darkens the, the belts against the dark disc, disc. So that's it. That's a quick look at the Skywatch to variable polarising filters and, and uh, a few other options and showing you which ones allow or block the, a certain amount of light to come through. So, as always, put that there. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.